Vogel says there are two things that sabotage your return as an investor. One is taxes and the other is fees. And if you can control those two things, who cares about the stock market going up or down? Because long term it will go up and you'll be fine. But if you have your returns eroded every year by two or three percent in fees, and you're talking about annuities, that's one of the real downsides of a lot of annuities are the annual fees that are so extremely high. So that's why index investing has become so popular because index funds are not managed accounts. And the average annual maintenance fee, uh, administrative fee on an index fund is probably today less than a quarter of 1%. Where a managed fund, where they have a team of people making investment decisions and these people don't work for minimum wage, um, you can see that the annual cost could be two or 3% a year. Now, you know, last, which means that last year, if you had been in some of these actively managed funds, you would have lost money on that year because even if it was flat, it would have been down that two or three percent because the fees would have eroded that. Um, only about about twenty percent of all managed mutual funds outperform index funds. Now, if you can find that twenty percent, more power to you. But they, but rarely do that do they do that in multiple years in a row. So again, my point is index funds are a good foundation to an investment portfolio. And I'd rather see you fill in the rest of it with individual stocks than using mutual funds. I don't have a problem with mutual funds, especially if there are things where it's hard to identify one company that you would want to own. Um, I think about technology stocks, okay? Um, somebody said, you can only buy one technology stock, Chamberlain, which one would it be? Apple, Qualcomm, Microsoft, Google, I don't know. So I buy them all. I buy an index fund of technology stocks. But again, then, there you're getting the benefit of an index fund, again, where the fee is going to be very low. If you want to diversify, you, I, I would strongly lean toward using index funds to do that as well as the, the base of, a, of an S&P 500 fund or something like that. So again, this is just one guy's opinion. Don't take it for gospel. Okay, just do what's right for you. All right, listen, I need to wrap it up here. This has been a lot of fun for me tonight, folks. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you.